Hey, Summer friends, welcome to the Joy of Summer with Rachel. I'm Rachel Kuhn, and it's our Wonderful Wednesday. Today, I'll be sharing with you some amazing swaps made by the leaders of Stamping Up um, from the most recent event I went to called Backstage, which is a leader only event for just the small elite stampers from Stamping Up. Go ahead and hold away, flip, and we'll get started. Okay, I move that up so you guys can see a little bit better. My stand has been adjusted a lot lately, so hopefully we are seeing what we want to see here, and I can just tighten it just a little bit. All right. Thank you for catching me live. Are you watching this on the replay? However way you have joined, welcome, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I just got off of work, and so I zoomed right over, and I'm running a little bit late, but hopefully you can forgive me for that. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe so you can see my weekly Wonderful Wednesdays and my Fun Fold Friday videos. When you watch or when you order today using our hostess code for the month, this is the last day to use the hostess code for August. When you use that code, I will send you the Wonderful Wednesday gift. The other Wonderful Wednesday gift for the day was the Festive Pearls, and that one is currently out of stock. And so I will then instead send you the fine sparkle adhesive backed gems, which are just as amazing, if not better. So order today with the host code. That's the last day you can order. And you it's also the last day to celebrate. So I have my more to celebrate flyer out here to remind you that not only the celebration items that we've been seeing for the last two months, but they added some items that are from the annual catalog in here as well. So we have some embossing folders you can get for free with a $50 order, and then we have some dies you can get with a $100 order, or even this amazing, you either have a silver paper, silver foil paper, or our brush metallic cardstock. Yeah, so these items can be free when you order that $50 or $100 mark. Love it. Um, my next really quick announcement, because it's just happening tomorrow, so you have to know today, uh, is that we have weekly deals are coming back in September. Those who have stamped with me for a long time know that Stampin' Up! used to always have weekly deals on Tuesdays. Well, in the month of September, 1 through the 28th, we'll have one week long of deals, and then I'll switch over for another day. So this is going to start on a Thursday. So you see right here it says the 1, the 8th, the 15th, and the 22nd are the first day of the start of those new deals. So I will share links. Be sure to check it up too if you forget and you'll see what the deals are and I, of course will share with you my favorite deal for the weekly deals so stay tuned for that as well starting tomorrow okay for these cards there are so many to share and show with you i'm actually going to share with you because i only have a couple of these are the 3d items um, when you go to these events, you can swap either cards or 3D, and there's different ways to do it. So these ones are my 3D ones that I have, and they're just a couple. So I'm going to get them all out so you can see them all at one time, and then I can talk about each one just a little bit and the stamper. Um, I will have all this information over my blog, so if you want to see these things closer and see the name of the stamper, you totally can. All right, so this one is so cute. It's the Thanks Snow Much. And it has a cute little snowman here, and inside has white Tic Tacs, which honestly could totally be like snowman poop. I'm just saying that would be a very fun, punny thing to do. Uh, and then this stamper was, I have her name right here, I believe, is Heather Grio, and she is from Colorado Springs, Colorado. So that's my hometown, so that's super fun. And sure enough, that place does get snow. So I love, love that 3D item. And then we have this one right here, which is a nail file holder. Super cute nail files in there. This one says kindness is so gangster. <laughs> so, so funny. Um, I love this little stamped image here. It says just for you. And she's created this cool little pocket to hold it. That was made by Amy Jordan. And this one is an international one. This one is from Austria, I believe. And she actually presented at Backstage. She even said that her favorite thing to do are these 3D items. And I swapped with her, and then she presented. And I was like, wait a minute. I think I swapped with her. So let me show you this one. It got a little bit loved from the trip home, but you can kind of get the general idea. Has her cute little For You stamp, which is actually these two are from the same one, oddly enough, um, which is a great set. And I can't remember the name of it. 
I remember, I'll be sure to tell you. All right, so she's put a magnet in here so it sticks. You can see how quickly it goes to close and stick. There's a magnet in there. And then it opens it up and out slides the chocolate. You can kind of see that motion right there where it closes back up and then it opens like that. I just love this. Let me get her name. I'll turn it over so you can see it. Her name is Karen Hoppler Hoppelberger from Austria. And she is amazing. And I just love, love that. I'll have to dissect this and figure out how to make that and share that with you as well. All right. Those were my main three ID items. I did get one extra one that wasn't a swap, but more of a gift. So I'm going to share this one with you from my dear friend, Lisa Marie, who lives in Florida. Oh, she has this awesome wood laser cutting machine and she customized and made these. These are just beautiful. I'm totally going to use this as an ornament to hang on my tree this year. And until then, I'm going to keep it in my craft room. But she has it cut saying backstage, SU, New Orleans, the year, and then the fun tiara or crown, which was everywhere. The mask and the, I can't remember the name of that. The Oh, I can't remember what that's called. But this is definitely a New Orleans symbol and is on the Saints um, jerseys, I believe, even. Super, super cute and fun, fun item there. Love that one. And she's a ribbon, stamping up ribbon, of course. All right, you guys ready for some swaps? I have probably close to 40 of them. So I will try to go fast, but still try to give you the love that each card needs because some cards just have to be seen in action. Uh, we're gonna start with Christmas, oddly enough, because that's probably everyone's favorite and um, I have a good amount of those swaps. So without further ado, let me go ahead and start sharing. This one was one of my favorites and it was made by Nikki Burkhart or Nikki B Stamping. Oh yes, Catherine says the Fleur de Lis. I think that's how you say it. That was the emblem in that crown right there. Thank you, Catherine. All right, this card I just adore. I am a pet lover. This one has a cat and a dog, so it appeases both of them. So it's a cute little to the North Pole. She has the DSP right here, and it is a fun fold, so it opens up like this. It says Happy Gift Wrapping with a cute little pause to the right. Just love, love that one. Super, super cute. The next Christmas one is made by Jody Ren Rennert. And she made this very basic layout. I love this one using the DSP. It's very classic. She has a little bit of ribbon to embellish. This great label and a very classic Merry Christmas there. Love this one. This would be a great one to mass produce. And it has some embossing even on that strip of, DS a strip of cardstock to give it a little bit more texture. Love that one. This one is another international card, and I think she said she was from Germany. We'll see. This is Sandra Christel. She made our cute little Santa here in his train. She stamped him. She's colored him. She has a DSP that matches and it opens up like that to a fun fold. And you're looking at it, you're thinking, where am I going to write on this? Don't worry. You can always turn to the back. She placed her little sticker here. So this one will definitely be just a looker card and not a sender card. Um, but then it has a Merry Christmas on top. Super, super cute card. So some cards are actually just card fronts. And you'll notice that with some of these that they don't open up. There's no inside. They just use a quarter of a piece of paper so that they can kind of make more swaps and with less material and that you could always add it to your own base. So that's the case with this next one by Johanna Jones. It's a beautiful window scene. I had never seen these dies in the catalog before. So while I was in New Orleans, I had to look it up and see where are these and how have I missed them? I just love, love the scene that she's created here with that little house, the navy blue house with a tree and a little bit of embellishing above the, the, the window there. Looks like she's embossed this, but she also has colored in either by inking on the embossing folder and so it inked and embossed at the same time. It is just beautiful though. It looks like a giant tile piece there or like wallpaper and we're looking outside. Love, love this one. The next is by my friend Dawn Cotter, and she's from here in California in the San Diego area. She's part of the group I hung out with so much over the last couple of days in Orleans, and this is a fun fold she made. It says, wishing you a season of hope of light. Opens up this way, and it opens up this way. It's kind of funny. I made one very similar, but just a different direction. Mine, I think, went more like that, and was going up and down. So, so funny that we think alike. So, I love, love this layout here for her, though. The next two are using the same stamp set that Sweet Candy Cane, so I'll put them both in view. Can you see both at the same time? 
and you kind of see the differences and the similarities. Um, both of you use the designer series paper. This one is a fun fold and it opens up like this. So you can stand up. And this one was made by, let's see, her name is Laura Lee Colette from Baton Rouge, Louisiana. She was a local, well, local as you can get when you're in um, Louisiana. Just love, love that layout there. This one was made by Lisa Brown. And I believe it is also a fun fold. Let me see. Or maybe it's just a card front. Um, I think it's just a card front. So it just has this flipped over. Let me see. We're going to discover this. Nope. There we go. Yes. Is it an envelope that she's used? There we go. And there's her name. Lisa Solis Brown. Love it. So it was a fun fold. And this flap will fold right back in underneath that cute little look there. Super cute, super cute. You can tell I didn't play with this yet. So that was just learning on the fly. Love those two very classic Christmas colored cards. The next one is a funny one. And this one was made by Jennifer Hill, One Crafty Sister. And I just adore this one. It says, time for a cardigan. And it has a cute little sweater on there. She used some of that um, plaid paper that we have with a white card base. This is just my kind of funny and super simple, right? She just colored that in one color. So it wasn't like crazy, it would be easy to make lots of these. And she just has a couple of basic shapes with that circle and the label right here. This label, she totally could have even cut in half to make it extend because we don't see the center. Great, great card there. And this one is made by um, Erica Serwin. And she's one of a million dollar seller, I believe. I believe she's based out of Texas and is amazing. And I just adore her card as well. She's that cute little Yeti. Is it Christmas Yeti? And she has some panels of DSP with a little bit of that glimmer paper there, some embossing. And of course, our cute, cute little Yeti as well. I'm loving, loving him. So I think she fussy cut him out, but fun secret tomorrow. Oh, maybe she didn't. Maybe this was a die cut out. Because we are getting this, this stamp set is now going to have dies to match starting tomorrow. So if you love this, you can bundle and save and get them both at the same time. If you already have the Yeti like me, you just need to get the dies now to make it match. Super, super cute card, Erica. The last two are very similar, so let me show them at the same time. And one is a mystery one, and the other one's made by Amy Jordan. Here's the Amy Jordan one, and here's my mystery stamper. She did not have a post-it note, or if I might have lost it, so one of the two. Um, super great cards, that same poinsettia designer series paper. This one says, a paper hug from me, and then it opens up kind of like this accordion an opening here, and folds back down. And then we have this one that says, season's greetings, and she's made these into white instead of the traditional green and just a little bit of splash of green there. She also has an embossing folder for some extra texture. And I just love that designer series paper as well. Super great card. All right, that's all for our Christmas. I'm going to go ahead and move on to our next season. And let's do fall. So we'll grab a couple of these. We have Karen Titus card with our beautiful little leaf right there. It says, hello. She has some great ribbon and some colors that are definitely more of the fall colors. Have you guys started seeing pumpkin everything? Pumpkin everything is out there now. So if you go in a store, you can't avoid it. But luckily, we love pumpkin over here. So it is a good time of the year for us. So there's that hello one, super cute on the leaf. These two are very similar, use the same stamp set. So I'll show at the same time. Um, but this one's made by Rhonda Wade. And this one, let me see this stamper's name is Pam, let me see if I can pronounce her last name right, Del Castilletho? I'm not sure if I said that right, so I apologize. This one is super pretty, it has a, just a cluster of leaves that are overlapping right here. Let me get closer, you can see. And then it opens up into a fun um, little pocket here where she has her business card, there we go, and a thinking of you, little piece of paper, which I believe will slide out, yes. So she has a cute little corner on here, some extra stamping, and that slide in for our special little note there. Love, love that one. Super great. This one by Rhonda Wade. I didn't notice it until my roommate actually pointed it out, and I was like, oh my goodness, that's so cool. The card base for this one is vellum. I have never seen a vellum card base. I'm going to open it up so you can see. So she has the inside with the very vanilla with a little bit of stamping. But sure enough, if you look, this is vellum. I can see right through. 
there's my hand, a vellum card base. What a fun, creative idea, right? The big secret is just making sure you line up from your front to your inside, so that way it covers it up when you go to keep it closed and you can't see the inside. Love, love that one. Our next fall ones use very similar stamps, or the same stamp as well, so we'll show them at the same time. This one's made by Gina Cardurin, right here. And then this one is made by Rolanda Patton, right there. Beautiful, beautiful designs. Again, we're using that leaf. However, she embossed the leaf with leaves. How fun is that? Use that designer series paper. It says, you are such a blessing. She's even stamped an, an envelope and provided that as well. Great card there. Um, and I don't know if she left the inside blank. And then this one is a fun fold. It doesn't look like it, but when you first look at it, and in fact, I was having troubles opening it, and then I realized it's because my pumpkin is right there going through so that's part of it so you just have to make sure you line that up right and you pull in the pumpkin and it opens up the inside we have some beautiful stamping and some extra color close it back up and we have a whole different scene there great great card and so much fun all right we have two more fall time which fall includes halloween so these are our halloween cards here one made by betty Soko sokoa Ooh that one there and then this one's made by tammy ackerson and that one there you both using that bewitching hat using some designer series paper this has a stamp set from a different one because the hats have no words so you can pair it with anything and i love the die on this one here where it has the half um regular cardstock and then just half of that showing through and being cut love love both of these cards super creative and Halloween is just around the corner. It even says Halloween happiness in the inside. Lovely ladies. All right, the next set are my animal ones. So I've divided these up into random spots, kind of. And my next collection, I'm calling the animals. Um, so this is made by Linda Wright, and she has that cute little raccoon. Who couldn't love adorable raccoon? It says sending birthday wishes. She's embossed here. Use our deckled rectangle dies to create this framed look of these, the raccoon. And then in the inside, oh, the inside has nothing, so we're good there. The next one is the Puffins, made by Karen Flores, and she's from California. And she has this cute little Puffin, says, you're the best. She also has an embossing. She has our cute little Puffin, which she's used some Wink of Stella on. There we go. You see it glimmer there and some glimmer stars as well. Super cute card there. My next ones are all about the Christmas Scotty. So one friend, I kept it hers in here, she gave me a tag, and it's from Jazzle Dazzle Craft With Me Janice. Made this cute little tag with our Scotty there, where she's stamped that awesome plaid, has a little bow, she's punched him out, woof woof, just for you. Super, super cute. Then I have two more using this stamp set. This one's made by Dar Darla Morris. And here she has this fun fold, says the wolf. Has our cute little puppy dog in the front with a little ribbon to match. We open it up one way, and then we open it up this way so we can write our fun message there. Just love how cute this puppy is, and great, great fun fold. I'm pretty sure you're going to see some similar folds like this in your future if you watch my fun folds. I love being inspired by others and then finding new ways to do with them. Um, the next one was one of my favorites, and sadly... I can't read the name on the back of the card. She just wrote her name in instead of like leaving a post-it note or something like that. But I love her design and it's going to be crazy but awesome. So let me show you this one and see if you can't guess her name too. All right. So this, she used the dog punch for the background and then she has a DSP dog and same with the bow, a nice nest of linen thread and ribbon and it is so untraditional one have you ever seen a pink dog probably never or only at like the circus or something but this one is so much fun and definitely one of my favorites of this whole set that i got this past weekend love love that one and there's no stamping this could be for anything what a cute baby shower card what a great birthday card anything for anyone who loves puppy dogs this could be your card love love that design the next ones we're going to show are the masculine cards. And then we'll go on to floral. And lastly, I just have miscellaneous. So I told you there's a lot. So thank you for bearing with me. Um, this one is made by Lauren Urbanus. And she's from Canada. 
And this card is just so much fun. It says, happy birthday to you. Has this awesome die cut of the beard and mustache. It's so lots of texture and a little bit in the inside for us to write on. I love, love this one. This is a funny one to me. I actually have these dies. I use the guitar. I haven't used this beard one yet. I'm My plan is to use the beard to make some cute little Santas later on in the year, um, which I'm super excited for that. Just change out the beard shade to white and put it on a darker background, and there you go. You got a cute little Christmas Santa card, but I love this one too. The next manly card is made by Jeannie Merrick. And she used the Vintage Tools. When she showed me this one, I was like, I have never even seen this stamp set. I don't even know what kind of tool this is. This says, you're playing awesome, and this card really is. She's used those deckled rectangle um, dies. She has a little bit of DSP, cute little embellishments here with our little nails. Love, love this card. Great masculine. The next two are from the same stamp set. And we have Susan Miller and Dana Miller. So it's funny that both of these ladies were the last name of Miller. Probably not even related. There's just lots of Millers out there. And it is so, so cute. I am not a drinker of any type of alcohol. Um, and so I have not got this set. But I have loved seeing the fun things people have made with it. And just great, great quality. So let me talk about each of these real quick. I love the texture of that brick embossing folder. I love how this is layering perfectly and the thanks is just matches it greatly with that font. Super, super great card. Love that one. Again, that was Dana Miller. This one right here, I love this die cut out right there. And then just having that white on white, a little bit of coloring into our bottles and glasses and the different heights of these glasses, I think makes it key to how awesome it looks. And the fact that one is die cut out another round for your birthday. Love, love that one as well. Those are all for my masculine cards. Let's go on to floral. This one is made from a sampler out in the UK named Sam Hammond. And I really like the style. So this card, it will be a different size because she's uses a different um, measurements for her cards, I believe. And she's embossed in gold. You always give a reason to smile. And I just love that she's also colored on what she's embossed here. Probably grabbed her blends and went straight directly on there and let it dry. Super, super fun card there. So the floral is where it, this is probably the floral one. Um, Oh, my friend says she thought this would be a great one for root beer even, that fun set here. That would totally be a great root beer card. Just color it, just change up the color a little bit. This one is another fun fold made by Susan Campfield, and she has the thinking of you on the front. She has it framed with the, oh, I can't remember the name of those, those dies, and I have them. If I think of them, I'll, I'll say it, but if not, I apologize. Um, um, but then she has the leaf from the Splendid thought dies and it opens up into our little fun fold here and to go all the way like that and she has this nicely embossed in here as well love love that one we are on a hit with fun folds this next one is another fun fold but this was made by Laura Nubus from Canada I think I got two of her swaps that's awesome two different designs so sending smiles across the miles and it opens up like this I am loving that. I love that when it's closed, you can see the DSP right here showing through. And it's just like a tiny little piece of paper. You can see where it connects there, but it covers up by the front when it's closed. And it has that great, great scene that she's embossed there. I love, love it. Okay, our next floral card is a mystery stamper. And I don't recall the name of the stamp set, so I apologize for both. I will do some research and have it over on my blog later. Great simple layering. This one is just a card front, so I just need to add it to a base to be able to actually use the card. Um, but she has just some little sequins here. I love the vinks going through the flowers. She had it light enough that you could still have words throughout it. And it's just a great corner eye-catching card. Love that one as well. The next two have similar designer series paper or the same designer series paper. And I just misplaced their their cards. So hopefully we know which one's which. We'll say that this one is Nana's Inks and this one's Carol Gonzalez. <laughs> I try to keep them attached to the back of the card so I don't see the wrong one, but I do have it right over my blog. So if you want to make sure to figure out who made which one, 
check it out over there. This one opens up as a fun fold and has the fun little sending you smiles for every moment of your day. Again, a cute little pocket and that little note slides out. Love that. This one is also fun fold and you wouldn't guess it just by looking at it because it blends in so well. But right here is a tiny little arm. So when I open it up, you'll see that it'll hinge open and then you'll expose the inside here where you can write a nice little message for this one as well for the I miss you. Great job, ladies. The next floral ones, I have just a couple more. We'll do two at a time though. Here we go. These ones are two very busy cards. Lots of floral on these, these ones. This again is just a card front, but I love that she did a spotlight look for the designer series papered and just colored a little circle out of it. And then she has her stain, which knew everything wonderful. This one's made by Cheryl Noble. This one, it has a DSP is the flower, so not any flower stamping. This is all paper here, paper there. She did stamp the friend over like an oval. And then, well, let's open it up. It's a DSP card. So the card front right here is all in designer series paper that then hinges to this one. And this is a flat piece of cardstock on the back here. You kind of see how that works? Super, super cute card. I love that one. The next two, this one is made by... Laura Borchett and let's see if I can find the names of this one. Oh, might be Sandra L. Jumper. All their little names are falling off, so I apologize for that. Great, great cards here. I love just a little strip of the glimmer and then use that as the cutting line or the dividing line from top to bottom for the florals here. Just saying hello. Love the brightness of the colors here. We'll open it up and it's just a regular card there. And then this one it has a great framing. This one is a fun new punch, which I never would have thought to make it look like a pot. So that was super clever. I love the die cut here for this frame and then the flowers for the happy birthday with a little bit of a glossy dots for our centers there. Super great card as well. We're almost done. We're on to our miscellaneous. Again, if you're watching this, feel free to join over um, to my blog so you can see them a little bit closer, zoom in, see the name, and get a link to the items that was most used when making the card. Let me show you this one made by, oh, this might be another miscellaneous one or unknown. So I apologize for that. Oh, maybe. It says, Cheerful Stamping Crickets, Susan Edwards from South Carolina. Here's her beautiful card there where she has colored in that wreath and just like a fun rainbow of colors to match her designer series paper. This actually does open up like that. So it has a fun fold here and it opens up completely to the inside as well. So it has a big open spot and a little valley here so you can have it stand up that way. Love that one. Um, our next one, oh, actually I think I missed some of these too. So we're not, oh, these are the last ones. These are miscellaneous, that's right. <laughs> this one is a Melissa Dolphin Design, and she loves the ocean and beach, and so she made this fun one. It says, wishing you a sun-kissed nose and sandy toes with the cute little chairs and the palm tree there. Great, great job coloring, and her little, little pelican there on the inside. Here's another card front. This one's made by Jilly Bing at Yahoo. I'm not sure her name. She has a little butterfly. This is a great simple layout where she has a banner, some textures, some dyes, and a great focal point there with a tiny little saying the hello there. Love that one. The next two are fruit ones. This one's made by Wendy uh, Knoll. She's actually one of my friends I hung out with this weekend at the backstage. Life is sweet with, it, with you in it. She did a great job with her cherries here and her layers. And she, in fact, just earned the incentive trip, which is pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. I, I adore her, Wendy. And the last one I want to share with you actually comes with a story. If I can find where it got. Okay. So it says on the front here, made in Normandy. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. I have someone that's made from somewhere else. I had a couple handfuls of those. She used that apple, which is, this is another stamp set that will be coming out with the dies starting tomorrow. Um... So if you love apples, this is a great set to get. And then for this one, she 
added a little story with it as well. Um, talking about Normandy and somehow why apples are so important to them over there and why she probably picked this stamp set for herself, which I just love that cards can totally do that for people. Connect them in the way, give them some history, say, you know what, apples are special to me and I want to make cards that mean something more to me than they would to someone else. And I'm so grateful she shared her little story with me as well. And that's it. Let me get some of these cards back in view. Probably won't get all of them because there's so many. We had our Halloween, we had our fall, we had lots of fall ones, these leaves, and lots of floral cards. I would love to know which one of these is your favorite. Do you have a favorite? Do you love them all? Do you have stamp sets of these ones that you can make these cards yourself? Or do you need to do some shopping? Add some wish things to your list. Uh, the more I'm seeing this one, the more I'm liking it. I like Amber's idea of doing it with um, root beer because I'm not a drinker, so that would be perfect. Love our little mustache, and of course, we can't forget our Christmas cards where we have all the great traditional colors, even some non-traditional colors. Funny cards, our candy canes, fun folds, windows. Of course, Santa has to be there too. So I'm so grateful I had the chance to go to backstage and hang out with my friends, learn out lots and lots of things, um, so much that I can't wait to share with you guys. Most of it is leadership stuff, which is a little bit different than just stamping. It's more of how can I help you guys better as me being your um, stamping friend. How can I help you make what you want to make and support you in your stamping journey as well. All right, you guys, I hope you've had a great time. I think that's it. Watching and have loved all these cards. Be sure to comment and happy stamping, everyone. Goodbye.